take two. <laughs> so a common question that we normally get asked is, how do you guys travel, work, do the whole abroad thing and still keep romance alive? Well, it's not so simple considering that with the shutdown orders, a lot of industries and businesses are closed. So Baby Lips and I have kind of resorted to going to restaurants. The cool thing is we love to eat, as you guys know from watching this content, but a lot of the restaurants that we went to are more, how I say, parties. There's DJs, there are mariachi bands, people are dancing, there's like sparklers. So it's cool when we finally find a place that remind us of a date night that we would go to back in Los Angeles to where we would walk into this place and it's so beautiful, so cute, so quaint, and it's off the beaten path. And you go into this place, which by the way, we I don't even know how I found it. It's called El Apacho, which apparently is a city here in Mexico. I don't even know if I pronounce that. I apologize if I hack that. Or it's called AKA the bookstore. The reason why it's called a bookstore is when you walk into it, it's a bookstore. Uh, half the shop is a bookstore, the other half is a cafe. Really cool if you wanna study, get some books, have a, have a coffee, which is one of my favorite coffees now. Uh, Cafe de Oya, big shout out to Cafe de Oya, and read a book. But if you keep walking back, you have this urban oasis garden where these like trees line the ceilings, art on the wall. It's this modern deco, rustic, uh, contemporary, but very intimate feel. Totally a vibe. The food is good. The staff is very nice and friendly. The ambience is a complete mood, like a complete mood. And yeah, we found this place, stumbled upon it. It felt like a date night that we would go to back in Los Angeles, but here in Medita. So if you're here, definitely check this place out. Google it, do whatever, make your reservations. It's literally worth it. It's nice, it's quiet, it's quaint, it's intimate, it's romantic, and we enjoy. And I hope you guys enjoy. Guys, here is the digs for tonight. It's off like this uh, little beaten path road here. Uh, but yeah, guys, this looks like it's so legit. Can't wait to come here and check it out. That always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some do crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while Oh You can take it with you <laughs> Gracias Hey babe You know you can take off your mask, right? Same to you. <laughs> this place is hella jungly, man. Like, beautiful art on the wall. Everything is so nice and clean. Baby lips over here looking so cute. And yeah, it's like all these trees that line the roof of this place. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Hello, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so good, so fresh. Mm -hmm. This is so good. You guys don't understand how the guacamole in Mexico hits. Yeah, the guac in Mexico hits completely different. All right, guys. So we are at a place called the Bookstore, which is well, it's the bookstore. AKA Apache Acho. I, I don't know. I'm hacking it. I put it somewhere around here. But this place is amazing. When you walk in, the first half is a bookstore. It's a bookstore slash like barista place, coffee store. And then you come to the back, which is like this urban oasis garden. And there's like a small, maybe like 50 square foot kitchen. There's two guys in there whipping it up. And they're serving some banger food. When I tell you banger, I mean banger food. And your boy's about to grub because um, I'm hella hungry. But for those people that do not know, this place is kind of off the beaten path, and it's a, a kind of a local hangout type of a situation, but like good vibes, good times, good music, indoor, outdoor setup, great people, great service, 
and the quality of this food so far is slapping. So I ordered this mango, like aqua fresca, and it looks like it slaps, dude. Like, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> So I asked the lady in the kitchen if they can put mango and put a little bit of ginger in here. And it tastes like, it tastes like one of those Jamaican drinks. Like mango, ginger, oh man, this is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay guys, so first of all, my dinner came on this clay pot here. Um, I believe this is lamb that is cooked right here. There's like a, almost like a mole sauce here on the side, uh, like a chipotle mole sauce. Over here is some slivered potatoes. Um, and on top of the slivered potatoes, they have these roasted garlic uh, little knots that I put on this tortilla and I make into small little mini tacos. But guys, look at that. Tell me that is not a thing of beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Baby Lips got the chicken uh, enchiladas and boy, that is a thing of beauty. Blue corn uh, that makes those little tortillas that are wrapped up in the green sauce. This looks amazing. <laughs> you're you're with your eyes. Gracias. Gracias. About to tear off into that. Look at the wrist action, ladies and gentlemen. And look how she just mops it up with that blue corn tortilla. Cheese connects. Come on now. <laughs> so good, no? It's very good. Okay, so as you can see, the blue corn tortillas here. Mm. Oh man, they smell very earthy, really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place that there. Cut that sliver of meat. Oof. Okay, just like that. Let me get some of that garlic. They have roasted garlic. Oh my God, that smells so good. And you can see it's pretty charred and roasted up here. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of those pieces in there and just smear it in there like such. And I'm gonna pick up this corn tortilla. <clears throat> put some potato in there. Okay, got some potato. Fold it up like a little burrito situation in case you can see off in there. Okay, burrito situation on full effect. All right. And then I'm gonna dip it in some of this red sauce. As you can see, straight to the head, ladies and gentlemen, straight to the head. Mmm. Oh, my. That's sweet. It's rustic, densely flavorful. The meat doesn't have a gaming taste. Slaps. This whole situation bangs, and the mole sauce sets it off completely. First of all, huge shout out to this huge like clay bowl that is clearly like handmade that they made and delivered all the food in. But this is like slivered lamb, so traditionally in places in Mexico they'll take the lamb and they'll just sliver cuts of the muscle and put it over an open fire, and I like that's what they did here. Uh, also, the potatoes slap, dude. Um, I can't even describe the potatoes, they're delicious. But this sauce, this red sauce, adds so much flavor to this lamb. Mm. Mm. And the potatoes. Perfect slivers. Salty, but not hard. Not too chewy. Mm. Individually, these ingredients just knock. This place is a hit. Whenever you're here in Merida, check it out. Buy a book, get some coffee, but make your way to the back and feast because that's what this place is all about. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Gracias. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and, 
Wow. Oh my goodness, that looks, <laughs> that looks really good. Delicioso. Gracias. So they brought us out a flan, and if you know nothing about flan, let's just say it's the texture of like cheesecake meets pudding, but theirs has like caramel and almonds on it. Uh, traditional Mexican flan right here. So, wow, look at that. Look at that caramel that drips. Oh. It smells almost like liquor, but oh my god, here's the bite right here, guys. Mm. Oh my gosh. Rich, creamy, very decadent, dense in texture, savory but sweet. You get the nutty flavor from the almonds. It's not too like creamy. It's not too like stiff, but man, that is probably the best one I've ever had in my entire life. Facts. The liquor is mezcal. She said they put mezcal in there. Oh, they put mezcal in there. I didn't even know, but it smells like, like you know how Tres Leche has like that soaked in flavor? It smells like, it smells like liquor. <laughs> so baby, what did you order? This is hot chocolate and it's from Oaxaca, Oaxaca. It's Oaxacan Oaxaca. hot chocolate. Oaxacan. This, okay, this will make you wonder what you've been eating in the in the U.S. <laughs> this tastes nothing like hot chocolate in the U.S. That is like decadent. It's so yum. It's so yummy. The only thing that would make this better is if they made it with oat milk. Cause they made it with almond milk. Cause you know I have tummy issues. I don't drink. Shout out to them tummy issues. Yeah. But that's the only like critique that I would have. The chocolate is stunning. Wow. Mm. That's divine. This is Baby Lips, guys, trying some of the flan. This is her first time ever eating flan. I'm not excited because I don't understand what flan is. But here we go. Hey, I should have been excited. You should have been excited. <laughs> That's magical. It's delicious. It's the I best flan I've ever had. What is it? Flan is like, uh, it's almost like uh, like the Mexican version of like cheesecake. Delicious, isn't it? We ordered that to go, as you Even? can see, guys, because it's in a to-go container. But bruh, this is the win of the century right now, low key. That's delicious. <laughs> Baby Liz is looking at the staff, telling them how good it is. <laughs> what a what a great experience tonight, right? Veronica was talking about the difference between the hot chocolate and Mexico versus the hot chocolate in America, and it just grounds down to the fact that here it's real. It's real hot chocolate. Like so good. it's not artificial sugars. It's not high this high high me, fructose uh, corn syrup. This makes me want to go. Oaxaca? Yeah. Oaxaca. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This, cause like, I just, I can't even describe this. This is like tasting chocolate for the first time. Yeah. Well, you never know. DMV Lila and we might go. But the crazy part is, is here in Mexico, they get the milk, they put it in a pan, and they get chocolate and they shave it and they turn that milk to warm and they just stir it and stir it and stir it. They don't add extra sweeteners, like it is just pure ingredients. Delicious. Delicioso. Guys, look how they brought out the check. That is so awesome. Like, they brought the check out in that seashell and oh, it's like a little note inside that shell. How awesome is that? Okay, how much? How much do you think? Yeah. We don't know. Sh show your boy those numbers. Oh, muchas gracias. Oh, muchas gracias. This beautiful rose that I picked up the Urban Garden for my girl. Aww. Look at that, guys. Look at that. She loves roses. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Damage is done. About to pay and head into the cribbo. So we're 
we're sitting out here. Here's a restaurant. We finally finished eating like a thousand years later and we're waiting for our car, but Medita's on a curfew. And I don't know if you can see all the way down there, there's some cops. Race of who's gonna get here first? The cops <laughs> or our Uber driver? Guys, don't play these games when you travel out of the country. Babyless are just hungry. We worked hard today and we left late, right? Okay, don't put that on me. I'm putting it on you. <laughs> We did work like very late today, did we not? Yes, we did. Gotcha. So when we left here, it was hella late, hence why y'all getting these late vlogs. Nighttime <laughs> vlogs. These nighttime vlogs. <laughs> Boy, is, that, is this the homie rolling up? Is that him? Nope. He turned. All right, maybe this guy's us. Nope, he turned too. What about this guy? No, way too fast. Way too fast. And we're definitely not that motorcycle. So, Baby Lips loves that hot chocolate. Look at her. I think this is our Uber driver, guys, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. See, si, see. Si. Hola. Hola. Look at cats everywhere, bro. Everywhere. For some weird reason, our Uber takes us down the damn street. So, yeah, we're walking back to our place. Look at Baby Lips. So cute out here in these Mexican streets. Here's the trash system in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, it's kind of like New York where they put the trash on the ground and the trash company just picks it up. And as you can see, it's pretty much everywhere. Like guys, this. we're back home. I don't know if you can see, your boy got his studio board for the podcast. Big shout out to the podcast. It's doing very well. Check us out. We're now on iTunes, uh, Apple, Apple iTunes, right? Yes. Yeah, we're now on Apple iTunes. Go ahead, search DNB La La Land. Make sure to subscribe to us there as well because we're going to be posting content there that we do not have here. So there's going to be a lot of podcasts that you guys don't see that we post, but we're hella excited about it. But guys, as you can see, man, you know, the microphones, the microphones, the studio setup, bruh, podcasts go way up. <sighs> All right, guys, and that will do it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and uh, hit that link below. Sign up to support us, to join our journey here on Patreon. I appreciate you guys so much for the Patreons that have been signing up and joining the platinum, silver, all, all those tiers. Much love for you guys, man. Really do appreciate you guys. Anyways, hit those notifications, hit that subscribe button, share this video with like literally everybody you know. And guys, you know the motto, live life beautifully without any regrets. And until tomorrow, citizens, peace. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the need and signs. They shout to me and you to write our story on a shape.